All righty, we're here with Stanford wing Jalen Thompson. So first of all, just how has practice been treating you so far? No, practice has been like super intense, especially for preseason. Been developing the defense a lot. I feel like it's been going really well. And there's depth where you've been working on it in particular? Uh, just being consistent, like making plays on defense, working on my three-point shot a lot. For you, just kind of what has been the biggest differences you've seen from, from Coach Hassan to Coach Smith so far? Um, I feel like analytical wise, like paying attention to the little things has been big and it makes you think about your game a little bit more. Like I'm not doing as good in this or I need to pick up on this or I'm doing really good on this. Just those like little details have been like a little bit different. How do you not let that get into your head as you're training to make plays and all that stuff and just let the game go? Um, kind of trying to use it as motivation, not thinking about it too much like, oh, I'm not doing this right, I'm not doing this right. Just thinking as like, I got to improve on this, I get better at this, or I did good at this this day. You, you know, your, your first couple years on the farm here, you've kind of, you've been, you've not played a whole lot. Um, just kind of what has that been like and how much have you kind of, I guess, kind of that, that experience to maybe not play and sit on the bench and watch? How has that maybe helped you grow, do you think, as a player? Um... I mean, it's kind of like motivation. Like, you definitely want to get on the court. I'm not going to say it's been easy, like, sitting. Mm -hmm. And even last year, dealing with injuries and stuff and not even being able to practice for, like, two months. So it's definitely a motivation factor towards it. And I don't know, just keeping myself hungry. With Coach Smith, everybody talks about nerd ball. How would you describe playing in that system of nerd ball? Nerd ball? Nerd ball. I don't think about tobacco. I nerd ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just kind of the, the, the anal, I guess, kind of the analytical oh, system yeah, yeah, that he's running. That's called nerve ball. And it, how would you describe that system? Yeah. Uh, I think it's really well. Like, it kind of helps you pick up, like, from a team aspect, like, what do we need to work on as a team? I feel like the coaching staff does a really good job of, like, making those type of adjustments. Yeah, for, for you personally, also talk about kind of your relationship with Ryan Agarwal. You guys came in together. Just kind of how has that relationship kind of grown over, over your time at Stanford? Uh, me and Ryan were like roommates my first summer here. I feel like our relationship has really developed, especially like off the court. I say it like feels like a brother to me. Push each other in and out the court. We'll do lifts together outside of practice and stuff. What have you most enjoyed about about kind of playing under Coach Smith so far? Just what do you most like about him as a coach personally? All that, yeah. Um, how real he keeps it with you, like giving you constructive feedback. If you're not doing good, like he's not gonna like sugarcoat anything, like kind of keep it real with you. That's something that I appreciate about him. Yeah, just kind of on the academic side, talk about have you picked a major yet? Where are you kind of in that process right now? Yeah, so I actually declared this past summer I'm science, technology, and society major. So I'm really excited about doing that. Yeah, and any interesting classes you're enrolled in right now or any tough midterms you got? Just how, yeah. how are things going there? Yeah. So I'm taking a construction and design class right now. I'm making like 3D models for like houses and different type of buildings. I thought that was pretty cool class I've been taking. That's probably the most interesting class I'm in. I'm also in an entrepreneurship class. Start our own business. Me and Jalen Blakes are actually in that class together. Yeah, um, and then on Jalen Blakes, just talking about the leadership he's brought to the team. Just what thoughts about having him as a point guard at Florida General? It's impressive, like, just how consistent he is every day, just bringing that energy on offense and defense and just being an overall dog. Like, that's something like, I feel like we need in a separate program. Yeah, and just how do you kind of feel about the move to the ACC? What's the, how's, how, how do you and how do the team feel about that move? It's a big-time yeah, yeah. basketball conference, yeah. Now it's big-time. Definitely going to be exciting to play these big games, play against these really good teams. I don't know about the travel yet, but, yeah, it's exciting for sure. Have you talked to any other athletes on campus about the travel or just in, on, from the fall sports, kind of get you some tips on what that's going to be like? Yeah, I talked to a few of the athletes from, like, the other teams. Uh, I know it's tiring, like, it's a tiring process, but I feel like they enjoy it, like, just being able to go to the East Coast and travel to these different places. And then kind of final, qu final question for you, just any particular school that you're particularly looking to face that you're – that, that excites you on the ACC side? I mean, the big ones are definitely like Duke, North Carolina, but I'm pretty excited to play Miami at home. I feel like that'd be a real good one. All right. Well, thanks for taking the time, Jalen, and best of luck this season. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys.